Welcome back. More than a week after the terrorist attacks in Paris, many Americans are thinking about personal safety. The attacks prompted yet another jump in gun sales nationwide. News 5's Chad Petrie has a look at the trend. Gun shows in southwest Alabama are usually busy. This weekend at the fairgrounds, no exception. It's pretty cheap, 380. It's pretty clean brass, too. Mark Beasley is one of the dealers who's been busy in the days since the Paris terror attacks. Sales have went up at least 50 percent in the past five days. How you gentlemen doing today? A few tables away, Timothy Dilcher agrees what happens in Paris is felt here. Because I think it puts a bit of a scare into an individual, and it takes something like that for um, to shake people up. From Charleston to Lafayette. A rise in gun sales follows the month after every massacre that's made the news. We have gun background check numbers to back that up, but not this month. The numbers for November won't be available until the start of December. And despite the unlikely event of a terrorist attack, a News 5 strategy poll this week showed nearly two-thirds of Alabamians worry about a strike in this state. I do believe that the people in the south of the United States are more prepared and are more interested in their personal security and believe that that the government cannot protect them immediately following a situation like this. Tom Hand in Daphne says he's seen a 10 percent rise in sales in the last week at his Baldwin County shop. Right there. That's the best ammo that you can get for self-defense. And Beasley says Paris has put personal security at the top of the list. A lot of people are coming in buying and stocking up on ammo, pistols, rifles. Uh, ARs are a very good commodity right now. A lot of people are stocking up on, you know, just any self-defense weapon, shotguns. While the wheeling and dealing continues... How you folks doing? Some said the bump will be short. In Mobile, Chad Petrie, News 5. And not every gun dealer agreed to be on camera. Some said they hadn't seen a rise in sales, but most did note more buying in the last week after the Paris attacks.